Hey guys, today we're making an animal cell model. What you need is Play-Doh, colors, and a styrofoam ball. I've already had the Play-Dohs prepared in the organs of the cell. This is the cell wall. This is the mitochondria. You have to have a squiggly line in the middle. This is the lysosomes. You have to have these dots, which are the eight digestive enzymes. This is the nucleus. And this is the endoplasmic reticulum. It has these holes in it because that's what produces the protein. This is the Golgi apparatus. These holes receive the protein. That's why you need to put the holes in. To make the base of the cell, you need to cut one fourth out of a, sphere, a styrofoam ball. And then you color the inside, whatever you color you wish. The outside has to be a different color from the inside. And you could use whatever color you want still. Once you're done, you have to put the cell wall or the protection of the cell around this edge. It should look like this. The surrounding should be covered by the cell wall or the, or the Play-Doh. Next up is the mitochondria. This is the power box of the cell. You can put them wherever you want, but remember, none of the organs should be touching each other except the nucleus and the endoplasmic reticulum. So now we put in the mitochondria. I have placed my mitochondria like this. You can put them wherever you want, but remember what I said. Don't let them touch each other. Next up is the endoplasmic reticulum. You put the endoplasmic reticulum close to the center. Leave enough space so you can put the nucleus in. You have to measure it before you put the endoplasmic reticulum. So now I'm going to measure it. Now here. And now this is where I decided to put it. I measured it and put this item here. So now I'm going to put the Golgi somewhere where I can put it. I'm going to put it here. Squish it down and leave it alone. Next up is the lysosomes, also known as the destroyer of the cell. I'm going to put the lysosome over here. And I am done my animal cell model. It looks nice, doesn't it? Now I'm going to tell you some facts about the animal cell.